Hey everyone, wanted to do a little review on the new Gen X 5 impact driver from Rigid. Uh, once again, they hit it out of the ballpark with this. You can see on the left, I actually have the Gen X 4 impact. Um, if you look at the two, there's really not that much difference. Um, so you say to yourself, why the upgrade? Why do I need this? Uh, well, maybe you don't, okay? Uh, but if you're looking for a new impact driver, um, you know, Gen X 5, it, it's a great, great tool. And, and once again, this does come with a, a feature too that, you know, I really like the upgrades that they've done to it compared to the, the Gen X 4, and I'll, I'll go over that real quick. But as you can see, you know, the Gen X 4, Gen X 5, they're basically the exact same impact driver, okay? The feel and the weight are almost identical. All right, so there's not a lot of difference there. All right, the grip, once again, it's, it's a great feel in the hand, you know, balanced very well. You know, Rigid did an excellent job on, on these impact drivers. Um, the batteries, they take the same battery. So if you have a, a Gen X4, uh, you wanna go out and buy a Gen X5, well, it's a 18 volt slide in, just like it was on the Gen X4, and uh, it's gonna work for you. So that's also very nice. So what are the differences between the two, all right? Like I said, there's not many, but there are a couple improvements that I really like. Uh, the first one is the light. So on the Gen X4, you can see the light is towards the bottom near the battery. And if you were to go and, and actually try to impact something in, you know, it, it does offer you some, some light, all right? But it's not focused as well as a new Gen 5. You can see they put the three LED lights right up by the head and they're bright. It's gonna offer you a little bit more control when you're trying to see something in the dark. So you come down here and, and you're good to go. That light is right on it. It's almost like staring into a car headlight. That's how bright it is. So three LED lights that they added to the head and uh, you can see it's down here towards the battery on the Gen X4. So that was an awesome upgrade. The one upgrade that I think was great, I think they really needed this, was the speed control. So you can see here on the Gen 4, it doesn't have a speed control where the new Gen 5 does. What this allows you to do is bring down the power. So say if I'm trying to impact the screw into something a little softer, maybe a softer wood, you know, I don't need all that power, I don't want to rip that, that screw all the way through. Well, I can bring it down to the one setting and that's basically all you're going to get. And it's strong enough to, to bring that screw down pretty slow, but consistent. If I need a little bit more power, but not max, I can just bring it over to the two. There you go. A little bit more oomph. And if I want max power, I just bring it over to the three. And there you go. Once again, it has the reverse on there has a safety right in the middle where you can't turn it on. And it's brushless. So, I love that feature. I can't tell you how many times I've, I've tried to hang something, I'm just trying to tap this so it doesn't go in too far or ruin my wall or what have you. But this right here allows you to control that power a lot better than, than the Gen X4 did. Now, as far as it goes with torque and, and drilling power, well, There you go. Um, solid, you know, right through, no problem at all. This thing does not want to slow down. I mean, it just drives those home every time. And and and, and same with the uh, the Gen 4. I mean, the Gen 4, you know, I never had a problem with this. And, and this right here, the, the new Gen 5, it's it's really just a cut above. And uh, they did a great job on this. So I, I'm telling you, if you're, if you're looking for a new impact. Gunner, if you're just looking to upgrade from the Gen X4, um, this is this is the gun for you, and uh, I hope this review helps. Thanks.